I'm the Herping Kid and welcome to our journey where we explore snakes, their relatives and the world's growing passion for these magnificent creatures. Before we get started on today's video, I would just like to ask you to go check out my Instagram, my Twitter and my Patreon, if you can, for that last one. Uh, the Instagram, I post a bunch of stuff, but mostly nature and I often shout out the Association of Environmental Issues, which you should also go check out. Um, <laughs> then my Twitter, there's not much going on there to be honest. And Patreon, if you want to support the channel through monthly money things, um, you can go there as well. I offer early access for my first tier members and sometimes behind the scenes, but I have I don't have much behind the scenes content to offer at the moment, but when I do, I will post it there. So do go check that out in the link in the description. Today, we will be discussing and profiling the common brown water snake. This snake is not an awfully common snake. However, uh, it is seen every so often and as the name would suggest, near riverbeds, but we'll get into that now. So with identification, they grow typically between 30 and 50 centimeters, but there have been specimens that have gone up to 95 centimeters long, which isn't that long to be honest, but impressive for a common brown water snake. Um, they are brown color at the top and they have a pinkish underbelly. They their eyes are typically brownish, not always, but typically. And it's quite a unique trait to water snakes in general. In terms of distribution, they are found in the Northwest province, in uh, Gauteng, the Western and Eastern Capes, Limpopo, Mpumalanga, KwaZulu-Natal, and Swaziland, Limpopo, not Limpopo, Lesotho, and Zimbabwe. So, in their habitat, they are found near or sometimes even inside streams, rivers, lakes, other bodies of water, and in damper areas. Yeah, that's basically it. They are active during the night and they do not have venom. They are constrictors and I believe their diet consists of frogs and fish. Hit that like button if you enjoyed and consider subscribing for more snake and animal content every Monday and Friday and I will see you next time.